Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi Libra, <coughs> excuse me. I just wanted to apologize that I could not get out the air signs um, quick enough for April. I'm just slammed with personal readings and so you know these readings on YouTube I try to work you know, work in as I can, but it's difficult. So I really thank you guys for your patience. It's why I decided to do air signs first for May. Now this is going to be for May 2018. This is general. It will not resonate with every person. This could be for sun, moon, rising, and also Venus signs too. Okay. A couple of announcements. First, I do swear in all of my readings. And if swearing offends you per usual, click the fuck off. Also, if you are a Taurus sun sign, your readings are still on sale click on the box below for all of my information okay for anyone else that wants a reading all of my information is there let's get started for libra may 2018 in regards to love for libra may 2018 for love oh. all right let's see what we got here libras interesting Mm, mm, mm. Interesting. Somebody is spying on your asses. There's some type of a obsessive thing here. Whether it's still going on or not, somebody could not let go of somebody. That's for damn sure. can feel it. All right, so, no, could have been with the King of Cups, or you are the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, Could be any sign, though, but that's what's coming up here. Also, the Emperor Aries. Emperor was a first card. Somebody wants to be in control. You also have the devil card, right? Devil card could be a Capricorn. The devil card is about obsession, low vibrational things, self-sabotage, but also codependency here. Somebody was stuck in a relationship. You have two cards to indicate somebody was stuck. You have the eight of swords where someone feels stuck and bound. And then you also have the four of pentacles where someone felt like they couldn't let go. Or somebody who was, okay, this is a thing. I'm going to tell you this right now. One person was completely obsessed and trying to do everything, open up, do all these things. And then when the connection didn't go anywhere, they couldn't let go. Okay? They couldn't. And see, this is where they were at. Three of Swords, heartbroken. Now, the other person was a King of Cups and Four of Pentacles where they were not opening up emotionally. Okay? So for some of you guys, it did not go anywhere because of the fact that this person did not open up to you. They didn't. Not emotionally anyway, and it led to heartbreak. For some of you guys, the Three of Swords with the Devil card, this is about third-party situation. Someone cheated on somebody. Somebody could have been waiting for a person that was cheating. <coughs> you were the side chick, side guy, coleslaw. You was waiting for this person to come out of this relationship, and they didn't. You know, I hate to do readings like that. It's not my MO. I don't like to do the side chick, da 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 It's not my shit. But it is what it is in this particular reading. It is. Somebody here is still very obsessed because you also have the Page of Swords. Or somebody's keeping tabs on another motherfucker, okay? Whether that's literally checking social media, keeping tabs on them, you know, via asking about them. Or coming on YouTube and watching their sign when you know goddamn well you ain't a Libra. Okay, keeping tabs. The chariot here, somebody could have been a Cancerian, but the chariot is about forward progress and movement. So somebody did have to move on, and it looks like it took a hell of a lot for them to do so. This is also somebody traveling too, I feel. Connecticut is so weird. I, I just saw Connecticut in my head. I'm sure a lot of you guys have traveled a lot of different places. But for some reason, Connecticut literally popped up in my head right now. Okay, We also have here the Queen of Pentacles. This is Earth, right? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we all aspire to be the Queen of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody here really went through some shit. And I'm talking severe. And what ended up happening is they persevered. They really did. They came out at the end as the Queen of Pentacles. Something here would have broke most people. This situation here would have broke most. It didn't break this particular person. See, look, they had the strength to leave eight of fucking cups this person had the strength to leave this shit even with the obsessive behavior even with being feeling stuck and bound with being obsessed with them love them blah 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 they actually did they got over this shit they found the strength to get over it okay i wouldn't be surprised if the strength card come peeking out someplace you know they definitely found the strength and it was a while if i feel this is this wasn't like a couple months this was ongoing <clears throat> you have here the two of pentacles 
So yeah, somebody had two options they were weighing out here for sure. And then one person said, I'm not dealing with this bullshit. You know, and then they decided to walk the fuck away. As they should. As they should. Emperor here, that first card of the Emperor. It's about control. Somebody wanted to be in control. This is also about somebody that's older. This is an older person, whether they're older in actual years or they feel older in energy. Now the Eight of Wands, now there's going to be serious fucking movement. Huge movement after this Eight of Cups and you've raised your vibration. After this Scorpio full moon, it's going to be a lot of energetic pushes because now we're in the new energetic paradigm. Okay, we're in, the energetic shift has occurred. Ten of Swords. The end. Ten is completion. The end of this cycle of feeling betrayed. Somebody really betrayed somebody. Whether they did it because they were waiting on another motherfucker and they didn't budge or they literally cheated on you. Somebody felt extremely betrayed. And now it's the end of that. Ten is completion. Yeah, see, look. Wheel of Fortune. This cycle is complete. This is going to turn now that you've learned your lessons. And it's going to bring in abundance. When the wheel turns, it's going to come in really fucking quick. And someone's traveling. <clears throat> Someone is traveling. Either they just came back from traveling or they are traveling very soon. I can feel someone traveling. You know, this little card over here that I've been waiting on to speak of is the Three of Wands funny too because it is the card of waiting but they're making me feel like don't speak about it yet you guys are waiting for something now you're waiting for your ships to come in that's what the three of wands is some of you guys are waiting for what you deserve three of cups some of you are waiting for a reunion with somebody else not this same person i don't feel that <clears throat> i don't feel it's a reunion with this same person you let go of although it could be let me take it how it fucking resonates something flipped over could be a Scorpio for some of you. Look, death. But it's an ending and new beginning. See, somebody's coming back for sure. Three of Cups reuniting. You guys are waiting for someone. So waiting, I hope, I don't know if it's this person here that you guys are waiting to come back. But somebody's coming back. Death would be the transformation I talked about earlier. About how somebody was down in the fucking dumps. And they really persevered after all of this shit. They came out as the butterfly. Death is endings, new beginnings. Oh, yeah. See, somebody definitely moved on. Six of Swords. Moving on to Calmer Waters and then Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is a very nurturing and very sensitive person, male or female. This is a person that is highly intuitive, okay? Very in touch with their feelings and emotions. Something happened during this full moon for a lot of you guys because I keep seeing the full moon here. Hierophant could be Taurus now, but the Hierophant is all about marriage and commitment. Somebody's coming back into your life. I don't know if this is past life, so you've never technically met them in this life. Or it's someone from your actual past. I can't tell. But that's part of the surprise, right? I always tell my clients, sometimes we don't know every fucking thing. Because sometimes it's like Christmas Day. You know, when you get to open up all your presents under the tree and be surprised. Bitch, I can't tell you everything. Okay? Some things are just meant for you to be surprised. Yeah, see, nothing wants to... Oh, one thing did flip over here. What is that? Justice. There you are. That's you guys. Libra. Justice Libra. It is karma also. Two cards here to indicate karma. You have the Wheel of Fortune as well as this one, Justice. You guys, my light just flickered above to confirm it. You guys are going to close out this particular karmic cycle, okay? And then when that occurs... That's when the abundance floods in the wheel of fortune. For some of you, the abundance or what it is you're waiting for is an actual relationship, a commitment. Whether it's a person that you had dealings with before or it's a whole new person. Now, don't get me wrong. This person that you guys are fucking with before that fucked up could have had a transformation here with the death card. They could be the queen of pentacles energy even though they're male and they could have gotten their act together absolutely nothing is impossible a lot of people have been going through spiritual awakenings so don't get me wrong could be a, a reunion with that okay anything is possible here especially with the cards that we have it indicates that somebody got their shit together somebody did either they got their shit together after a breakup and then that person comes back or the person who left got their shit together and they meet a whole new person or someone from their past. Oh, they're telling me stop. Forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine, which is, of course, law of attraction. 
I don't know how many times the forgiveness card is going to keep coming up in every single type of reading that I do. It just keeps coming up over and over and over and over again. Okay, I'm going to pull for you guys an Angel Answers card by Doreen Virtue. This is a little extra since, you know, <clears throat> I didn't get to do your April readings. And again, I thank you so much for your patience. I am just so slammed with personal readings. And if you guys would like one, again, click on the box below. If you want to follow me on social media, Facebook and Instagram, it's under Saltwater Hills Tarot. If you want to follow me on my personal Instagram, which I know a lot of people are nosy motherfuckers like me, uh, it's, it's XI underscore Missy underscore XI for my personal one. The situation will improve. Hold tight, hunties. Everything is coming into place. This wheel's going to turn for you and it's going to bring in fortune. And for some of you, a committed relationship just like you wanted. Anyways, thank you so much, Libras. I will see you guys again very soon. I send you lots and lots of love and light and lots of blessings. Love you guys. Bye.